Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be here on Way of the Hunter and we're finally out here on Tika Moon Plains so I am so excited to hunt this map. I've wanted an African map here in Way of the Hunter pretty much since the game released last year. So anyway, I haven't hunted the map yet. I'm recording this on release day but you won't see it until Saturday. So yeah, I've already got my guns and everything. We can go ahead and take a look at those really quickly. We have the 30-06 and then the 300 Wind Mag. This is my basic loadout. Now the bows they did release with this update. I do plan to do a video separately using the bows for the first time, but I figured we'd just get a feel for the map here today. So we actually have some animals right up ahead as we speak. So I'm pretty sure those are some wildebeest. I don't know if they're the blue wildebeest or the black wildebeest. I think they might be black wildebeest, but I really do not know. And there's also some Cape Buffalo somewhere. They're gonna be right out there. That one looks like he's a male and then maybe we have a female right there. Let's get over this some um, fence and let's go take a look at these animals. And these are the black wildebeest, so I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between a blue and a black wildebeest. If someone knows, let me know down in the comments. I just don't have a lot of knowledge about wildebeest. But we do have a three-star adult right here, so that guy, he has a good potential to be a five-star. We're definitely going to keep that in mind and keep an eye on him later on. But we also have some others over here, one-star young. There's a one-star young again. There's also a one-star adult in here somewhere if we can find him. And it's going to be that one right there, so that's going to probably be the one we take down. And then over here to my right, I think this one's a two-star adult, and he is. So that's another one to kind of watch. So we definitely want to get that guy down. Now those um, water buffalo, or not water buffalo, cape buffalo, my bad. They are somewhere over here, and that's going to be one of them right there. There's also something behind them over there. I think that might be um, Greater Kudu. I'm just not exactly sure. So we'll take a look at that here in a little bit, but let's go ahead and focus on this black wildebeest. We'll go ahead and get the 30-06 out. We should be able to get just right there into the lung. Um, he's giving us an okay shot. We'll love if he's broadside, but it doesn't matter too much. So he's about 200 meters out. We'll go to zero for 200, and we should be able to take that right there. And yeah, that blood is going to be fantastic. He is not going to get very far whatsoever. So yeah, these um, Cape Buffalo, they shouldn't spook, and I don't think they did. So let's get over here and let's pick up our first animal. We do have something over here to our right. That is a greater kudu, so we're going to kind of stay calm just a bit. Walk over here slowly and maybe get one of those as we're passing by. I had to track this guy a really long ways, but we finally caught up to him. Let's go ahead and get him picked up. So we got him in the left lung right there, and that is probably why, because we just barely grazed the lungs. So that's just on me. Probably could have got just a little bit of a better angle. And like I said, the angle wasn't good to begin with. Probably could have gotten there just a little bit better, though. So it was um, 206 meters on the distance. We also got into the stomach just a little bit. But 40.85 on his genetics. He is a good one to take down, and he's a one-star adult. Let's go ahead and get a look at their model. And yeah, they look really good so i can already kind of tell the difference between the black wildebeest and the blue wildebeest on call of the wild now obviously those are two different games but they try to like at least make them look as realistic as possible so there is a difference here i need to see like a blue wildebeest here in the game just to kind of compare them but yeah they look good i must say from what i've seen just from like different gameplay and stuff all the models look pretty good for most of the animals out here so let's go ahead and take a look at his trophy rating it will be a 338.0 and we will sell him for 353. So I'm not exactly sure where those um, Greater Kudu got to. They were at their like drinking zone, but as we shot, you know, they went alerted. And then eventually they just kind of trotted off. So I think I'm going to get back over here and see if we can find those Cape Buffalo. And if not, see what that other herd of animals were. We've got the Cape Buffalo up ahead as well as a herd of Greater Kudu. So I was looking through the Greater Kudu and it seems like all the males are one-star youngs. So we're not going to worry about them, but we do have the Capes up ahead. So there's two one-star young males in there as well as a one-star adult. I really want to get that one-star adult down. So right now we just need to try and find him. Um, all of them kind of walked right in front of him. But I do want to get him and then I'm hoping we actually get charged at some point here today by the Cape Buffaloes. That's just something I really want to see. So that one is one of the one-star youngs. And there is kind of like a little hill right there that they're standing on. So what is that one? That's going to be a female. So he could just be like right behind that hill. So I think what I'm going to do is just get over here to my right a little bit. I will let you know when we have a clear shot. And that might be him right there. So that is him. But never mind. We'll just go ahead and get him. So let's get the 300. We'll need a big gun to take him down. And let's go ahead and stand up here. And let's get ready to take him. So yeah, it should be that one. He is laying down right there and he's going to be getting up. So it shows he's about 200 out. We'll go to um, 200 and go up to 18 times there. And yeah, let's go ahead and take that shot. So hopefully that's good. It definitely looked good anyway. They are going to be fleeing from what I can tell. No charging. So let's get over here. We'll check the blood trail and then we'll get after him. It did take this guy just a little bit to actually die, so I'm kind of curious to see what kind of shot we got on him. Let's go ahead and pick him up and we will see. So we got him in the left lung, the right lung, and also got the artery for 
quite a bit of damage there as well as a little bit of cavity damage. It's a pretty good shot, a little bit high, but it was a double lung. It just took him quite some time to actually die since they are a pretty big animal. I can understand that. So 35.46 on his genetics. He's a one star adult with a total sale price of 500. So a good one to take down. And I really like their model as well. Um, I saw them in the trailer and everything like that. I think they look really, really good. I want to see what a five star looks like. I think they're going to look just absolutely incredible. So we'll get a few screenshots of this guy you can potentially use him in a thumbnail and everything like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trophy rating. So 296.0, not a big one whatsoever, so we'll get him sold. Now right up ahead we have a herd of Gims box. So I saw a couple of one star youngs. There's one right there. The other one is there as well. And then let's see what else do we have. Most of these are females and there's a one star adult. So we might go ahead and take that guy right there. He's going to be the one in the back. There was also a little group of warthogs that were over here to my right. But I don't think we'll be able to get them because they'll end up spooking after we shoot. We'll have to wait and see. So let's go ahead and get this guy before he decides to move on us or something. He's going to be about 230 out. We'll stay zeroed for 200 here. And yeah, let's go ahead and take that shot there. He took a step as we shot, but I do think we should have got a good shot. If it isn't like the best ever, it should be like in the liver or something. But I do think we should have got into the lungs right there. So let's get over here and we'll find out. It was a good shot on the skims box. He didn't go very far whatsoever. So we do have a herd of wildebeest that are just right over here behind these bushes. They're actually the blue wildebeest. So we're probably going to go over there and take one of those down. And then we also have those warthogs I was talking about that are somewhere over there. They did not spook after we shot this guy. So let's get him picked up. We got him in the left lung and the right lung, so it was a good shot. I was afraid it was going to be a little bit far back, um, but yeah, got into the double lung at 222 meters. So 25.6 on his genetics, and he is a one-star adult, so terrible genetics, and a total sale price of 380. So I'm going to go ahead and get a look at this guy as well. I'll probably do this for every new species, get a few screenshots and stuff, and just kind of take a look at them. And the Gimsbach, they also look really good, and that's another one that I really want to see like what the five stars look like. So we'll go ahead and get him sold. 229 on his total score and let's sell him now let's take a look at these Gimsbach. there was a two-star mature not the Gimsbach, i mean Wil blue wildebeest we'll take a look at these i know there's a two-star mature in there i'm probably going to get to the left just a bit just to see um, if we can get some better spotting on them i will let you know when we have some good shots that is definitely a good sign we have a four-star mature blue wildebeest right there so that's one we want to keep an eye on just as dp is going to become a five star in the future but we do have a two-star mature right there like we said and there's a bunch of like one-star adults one-star young stuff like that in here but the two-star mature is going to be the best overall one to take down so let's go ahead and get the 30 odd six and we'll go ahead and get him so he's going to be that one that is looking very very old they're about 130 out i'll zero for 150 here and let's go ahead and get him the scope is moving all over the place and he is starting to move so we'll wait until he just kind of gets a little bit closer right there. Let's go ahead and see exactly how far that is really quickly. He still says about 122. Let's take that shot and we just pulled it. Well, I don't know why the scope is glitching like it is. That is absolutely terrible. So we messed that shot up. I know we did. But as you can see, like the scope just like glitches around a bit. I don't know if it's when I'm just crouching or what. Um, right now it's not doing it obviously because we're not trying to shoot anything. But that's unfortunate. We're going to see if we can catch up to those and get a better shot on him. He's definitely not going to die, I don't think, unless we somehow hit something that would kill him, but look like it was just way too high. Finally caught up to this herd of blue wildebeest, so there's our four-star mature, and then our two-star is going to be just right there in the back. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get a little bit of redemption right here and actually get him down um, before they decide to spook or something like that. And yeah, hopefully our scope doesn't decide to like glitch out and stuff like that. So I'm a zero for about 50 right here. I think that should be good. And let's take that and there we go that should have been a good shot hopefully um if it wasn't then i don't know but he is stumbling around and everything he should be going down pretty quickly but yeah i don't know all, what all that glitching was about when we shot him the first time um but should be good he's um stumbling as you see let's get over there and get him he finally went down so let's go ahead and get him picked up so the first shot yeah it was just absolutely terrible so we zeroed for 150 if i'm not mistaken and his distance was 118 so maybe we shouldn't have done that but at the same time just all the glitching with the scope i don't know if we'd been able to hit him anyway but got him in the spine right there it looks like a little bit and then the second shot we got him in the left lung and the liver so a little bit far back on that as well that wasn't the best shot ever that was at 92 meters so i probably could have zeroed for 100 right there but i couldn't get an accurate reading on exactly how far out he was but anyway, he is down. He's a 49.86 on his genetics. He's a two-star mature with a total sale price of 464. So I was taking a look at him versus like the black wildebeest. You can see a difference in their horns. This guy is actually really wonky. Um, he's kind of got like this one that's going up and then this one is curving in. With the um, black wildebeest we took down earlier, his came out, but then the horns like curved up. So I can see where there's a difference in their horns. But other than that, I really don't know too much about them. 
So yeah, we'll go ahead and get a screenshot of this guy and let's go ahead and get him sold. 379.0 is his total score. We've got a two-star mature Gemsbok laying down right there. I was looking through the rest of the herd, but didn't see anything else really worth taking down. The rest of them were like one stars and stuff like that. Now we do have some hyenas over here, and honestly, when I heard them for the first time, it kind of spooked me because they have like that laugh and stuff, and it just sounded so creepy. So um, we are going to go and t take a look at them if we can. Let's go ahead and get this guy down first. Now there was a herd of wildebeest over here to my left, and they're still over there. I think it's that same herd that we got the um, two-star mature out of. I'm just not sure exactly. Didn't really spot through them because I saw the first so we'll zero for 150 and we'll get this guy taken down should be a good shot so those up there they're gonna just stay up there so we might go ahead and take a look at them really quickly let's just see what we have um if we can actually spot them looks like we can't spot them from this distance anyway so let's get over here and get our gimsbok and then i really want to go take a look at the hyenas so i think we'll do that next our two-star Gimsbok is right here. Let's get him picked up. So got him in the left lung and the right lung, and that was a really good shot as he was laying down right there. In one lung and out the other, you can't ask for too much better. So 42.95 on his genetics, he will be a two-star mature, with a total sell price of 509 and a trophy rating of 322.0. We'll get him sold, and yeah, like I said, I really want to find those hyenas, so they were somewhere over here in this direction. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually get one. And there they are, the spotted hyenas. So we have a one-star adult and then also a one-star young. The one star adults can be giving us a really good shot, the other two are females. For some reason the game is super laggy right now and I don't know why, but then we have some warthogs back behind us that it kind of just went right past me as I was coming down here. I saw some one star youngs, like a one star adult in there, but I do want to focus on the hyenas, so let's go ahead and get that guy down while he's still giving us a good shot. So we'll go ahead and get him, uh, let's see he's about 163, I was there for 150, and yeah let's go ahead and take that right there. So it should be good. It's going to be a little bit far back, I think, but he is going to be stumbling quite a bit, and he's actually going to be coming towards us. Let's go. We're actually getting attacked by an animal here. That is so cool. So what's he going to do exactly? It looks like he is just coming right in. I don't want to like shoot him in the face or anything like that. Um, and there he goes. Is he going to die here? I don't want to shoot him anymore if we can help it, just because I know I'll mess the shot up. But we did get good blood, so now it's just a matter of him actually going down. But we actually got attacked by something, or at least charged by him, something there. We didn't get attacked because we moved out of the way. But that is what I was wanting this entire time. I was hoping it'd be a Cape Buffalo, but I'll take it with this guy. So it looks like he's going to keep going right there. We'll catch up with him here in a minute. In my opinion, adding aggression to some of the animals' behaviors here in the game was a fantastic idea. I really can't wait to see how it's going to affect future hunts. And I think it's just going to make things more interesting overall. So here's this hyena. Got him in the left lung and the right lung. Overall, pretty good shot. A little bit far back, but won't complain about it. So shot distance was 156 meters. 41.97 on his genetics. He is a one-star adult with a total sell price of 125 and a trophy rating of 396.3. So we can get a better look at this guy. They also just look really good. It's been a long time since I've hunted hyenas in a hunting game. So it's really cool to see them back in like just some form in a hunting game. So let's get him sold. We've been passing up the warthogs that we've seen so far to take down other animals, but finally we do have some up ahead that we're going to go ahead and focus on. So there was a one-star mature in here, and that's going to be him right there in the back. So let's go ahead and try and focus on him. going to keep an eye on him because he is moving up a little bit. It's going to be that one right there. So they're about 200 out. As long as he doesn't step behind one of these others, we should be able to get him. And of course, he's going to be going into the bush, but we can take that, and he is going to be dropped on the spot. Looking off in the distance, about 800 meters, we have a lion way out there, so I'm going to get over there as quick as possible because I definitely want to take him down, but we do have a warthog right here that we just shot, so let's get him picked up first. So got him in the left lung, and that is pretty much it. The left lung was the kill shot, but did get quite a bit of cavity damage in the heart, so that was at 200 meters. 29.23 on his genetics, he will be a one-star mature with a total sale price of 456 and a trophy rating of 218.0. So I really like that his tusks there are like kind of crooked. So you've got this one over here that goes to the left, but this one on the right side curves back up. So that's kind of cool. I want to see maybe if there's some other like different like variations of that. Let's get this guy sold and let's head over here and see about this lion. So there's that lion I was talking about. So he is a one star young, unfortunately, but I'm going to make an exception and actually take him down. Most of the time, I'll just leave one star youngs because you never know what their genetics are going to be. And um, chances are this guy is going to be 95 genetics or something like that with my luck. But I just want to get him down and get our first lion out of the way here. So let's see. He's about 200 out. We'll zero to 200 here. And let's go ahead and take that shot. So might be just a little bit high, it looked like, but he is like kind of stumbling around and stuff. Yeah, he isn't going to be going too far. There was also a wildebeest back behind me here um, that is actually still calm. It was a two-star adult, so we want to kind of keep an eye on him. But yeah, let's get up there and we'll check this guy out. 
Now he went down, so let's go ahead and get this guy picked up. So got him in the left lung and the right lung. That was actually a really good shot, just into the double lung there. And then pretty much out the other end, so 195 meters on that one. And then let's see, 94.41 on his genetics. See, that's what I was afraid of. Um, with my luck, I just knew that was going to happen. He was more than likely, or I guess guaranteed, almost to be a five-star. He is a one-star young, total sale price of 329. That's just how it goes sometimes. I wanted to take down the Lions, so I'm not going to complain about it too much. There will be plenty of five-star potential Lions to get in the future. Um, but total um, trophy score there is 413.0. Let's go ahead and get a better look at this guy. And the Lions are just, once again, every animal I've seen so far has looked pretty good for the most part. So let's get a few screenshots of him and whatnot. And let's um, go ahead and sell him. So I think we'll hunt a few more animals. I'm not going to do like a super long video today. But I'm um, just getting out here and getting a feel for the map. And so far, I must say, I have enjoyed it a lot. I really like that it's just wide open like this. I, that's like my favorite type of terrain and stuff is the wide open terrain. So I am definitely enjoying it right now. Let's go see what else we can find. We have got a little herd of four Gimsbach right here. So there's a one star adult and then we have a one star young right there. They're only about 85 meters out. I just kind of just snuck right up on them and didn't even realize they were here. So let's go ahead and get this guy. Um, we shouldn't have no problems taking him down since he's so close. But me saying that, I'm sure I'll find a way to mess it up. So we got to reload our gun really quickly. Um, that'll do. So let's get him marked. So 69 meters out. We'll zero for 50. And let's go ahead and take that. So probably could have went for maybe like a heart shot or something. But I'm just going to play it safe and go for the lungs. That'll be definitely probably a double lung shot. So just wanting to scan around to make sure there's nothing else over there. We do have these warthogs over here to my left. Or they were over here. I'm not sure exactly where they got to now. But there were some warthogs over there. We won't worry about them since they're not there anymore. Let's get over here and get this guy. And there's the one star young. Just kind of chilling right there. If he decides to just stay there, I might take him. But he is not. So we won't worry about that. Let's get over here and let's find this one star adult. The 300 is really doing well on the Gimsbach, I've noticed. They haven't gone too far when you do shoot them, and it gets double lung pretty much every time. So, once again, double lung, 64 meters away, 45.25 on his genetics. He's a one-star adult with a total sale price of 416, and a trophy rating of 289.0. Here's one of these species that we haven't hunted yet. It is the Springbox. We have a one-star adult right up ahead, as well as a two-star mature. And the two-star mature, obviously, is going to be the one we go after. And I think he's like the oldest one over here. I didn't see any others. The rest were like one-star youngs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and focus on him. We should be able to get a pretty good shot. And we'll go ahead and just scoot over here to the left a little bit. And they're a little bit smaller, but we should be able to manage just fine. So 150 meters out. We'll go to 150 on the zeroing here. And don't want to mess the shot up, so I'm just going to move over just a little bit more. And he's actually going to stand up, which is fantastic. Let's take that, and it's going to be good. Going to drop him on the spot. And here we have our two-star mature Springbok. Let's go ahead and get him picked up. Like I said, he is the first one of the day, so got him in the left lung and the right lung. That was a good shot on him. He dropped immediately. 56.13 on his genetics. He will be a two-star mature with a trophy rating of 378.0. And we have got a very large pride of lions up ahead. So there's a one-star adult up ahead. That's probably going to be the one we take down, but there's like seven or eight males over here. The best one is actually a two-star adult, and he's going to be over there. So that's just something to keep an eye on moving forward into the future. But there's the one-star adult. Let's go ahead and take him. So when we shoot him, I don't know if they're like some of them are going to go aggressive or something like that. I don't know if they'll just all flee. I just think it would be absolutely insane if like we shoot this guy and then all of them just charge right at us. So he's about 137 out with 0 to 150. And let's go ahead and get that shot. And he's going to be turning right there. And yeah, he's going to be going down pretty quickly. He Yeah, he's already down. That's probably a heart shot if I had to guess. Maybe a bunch of cavity damage to the heart. So it doesn't look like anything is charging us. Let's get over here and get him. And I think we'll wrap things up after that. And finally, here we have him. Let's go ahead and get him picked up. And yeah, we got him in the heart right there, so that is why he dropped pretty much instantly. He ran around a little bit, but didn't get very far. Got him in the left lung a little bit, but did mostly cavity damage. Also to the artery, did a ton of cavity damage. And also got a little bit of the right lung. So 65.53 on his genetics. He is a one-star adult, so decent genetics on this guy. Um, but he wasn't going to be a five-star, obviously, with those genetics. But definitely could have been like a decent three-star, maybe even a four-star. So trophy rating is 418.1 and his sale price is 525. So I think that's going to do it here for me. I had a ton of fun hunting with this map and we got up here kind of to the middle of the map. Didn't explore a whole lot. There's still a bunch we need to get. But yeah, so far I've been really enjoying it and I think it might be the best map they've put out so far. Obviously, we still need to play it a little bit more to actually determine that. But I do think it can be the best map that's came out for Way of the Hunter so far. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.